Master, give the blessing. Bless <clears throat> blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. I have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. I have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, Reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul, Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray. Pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere, especially Peter, Ronnie, Andrew, Joshua, Alex, Madison, Skylar, Will, Benjamin, Thaddeus, and Adam, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell therein, for healthful seasons, abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, especially for those impacted by the coronavirus and for their families, for captives and for their salvation, and especially for those suffering for the faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy. Immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. To thee. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, and to sing praises to thy name, O Most High, through the intercessions of the Theotokos, the Savior, our Proclaim thy mercy at dawn and thy truth by night. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, the Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, the Savior, save Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Thee, 
For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord is king, and hath clothed him, clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with strength, and hath girt himself. Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us to sing to thee, Alleluia. For he has established the worlds which shall not be shaken. O Son of God, who arose from the dead, save us to sing to thee, Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For thou art a good God, and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. See God. 
From the heights thou didst descend, O compassionate one, and thou didst so give to the pre-deverial that thou might deliver us from passions. Thou art our life and our resurrection, O Lord, glory to thee. O Barnabas, thou becamest the perfect and faithful servant of the Lord. Thou wast the first of the seventy disciples, worthy to be the companion of Paul in his preaching. Thou didst prove to all that Christ was the Savior. Wherefore we celebrate thy divine memory with hymns and songs. <coughs> the protection of Christ from fate cannot be put to shame. Mediation unto the Creator most constant. O despise not the suppliant blessings of those who have sinned. But be thou quick, O good one, to come unto our aid, who in faith cry unto thee. Hasten to intercession, and speed thou to make supplication. Thou who dost ever protect, O Theotokos, them that honor thee. Thou our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever.
be to thee that read it. And to thy spirit. said, as you wish that men would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies and do good and lend expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great and you will be sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the selfish. Be merciful even as your Father is merciful. morning. We had quite a few people away this weekend, uh, many of them at St. Anthony's Monastery in Arizona, including Scott, who normally schedules the epistle reading. And of course, before he left last week, just like the three other times that he, before he left, he told me that there won't be anybody to read the epistle, so you'll need to take care of it. That's why it wasn't taken care of. I forgot. But the two scripture lessons that were just read expertly, albeit spontaneously by Deacon Thomas, in those we were given vital instruction on how to live the Christian life. I hope we didn't lose that in all the kind of shuffling. Both lessons together actually reveal a life that is radically different from that which most people live. In fact, I should probably start out in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I think I forgot to do that. In fact, most people hearing these scriptures, I think it would make very little sense to them. They hear them, they forget them. This information that was given to us in this, this epistle from St. Paul and this lesson from St. Luke are of value really only to those who sincerely desire to live in Christ and are willing to obediently follow him. I bet you wish you could remember what those lessons were. <laughs> Do you? Do you remember? No, okay. That's what happens sometimes. We hear them and they go right out the window. Beginning with our epistle lesson, we see a huge change has happened to those in Christ. Because what did St. Paul tell the Corinthians? He says, you are the temple of the living God. We are the temple of the living God. This isn't just poetic language. It is the most accurate, precise way that the apostle could think to, to express what has happened. The Holy Spirit, God, the Godhead, 
Father, Son, and Holy Spirit have come to dwell within us. And he proves this by giving the Old Testament scriptures, saying that, you know, God would come and dwell within us. They become the temple of the living God. And from this we are told, because of this great truth, to come out from the world. Do not live like the world. We are a different people. We are to be separate from the ways of the world. To touch nothing unclean, it says, with typical Old Testament language. But really, this is a strong admonition to live as a sanctified people, a peculiar people, as St. Peter once said, who do not live according to the ways of this world, but according to Christ Jesus. Then says the Lord Almighty, quote St. Paul, I will welcome you, and I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters. The apostle concludes with the reminder that we should cleanse ourselves from every defilement of body and spirit and make holiness perfect in the fear of God. This is why I say, is this thing even on? Oh, they're just fooling me, aren't they? Oh, they're just playing tricks with me. This is why I say that this is a vital thing, and it was vital to the Corinthians, and it is vital to us um, that we are not ordinary people of the world. You know, if, you, if you know the Corinthian church, you know that they were converted pagans, and they came out of a culture in which there was rampant sexual immorality and uh, idolatry and just not a lot of human dignity. It sounds a lot like today, you know. And he's saying, you are different. You are not like these people. You are not what you used to be, but you have become the temple of the living God who now dwells in you. So what is the goal of the Christian life in this particular presentation? Is it merely to find our salvation, get saved, know the Lord? I saw that bumper sticker you're probably all familiar with the other day. No Jesus, no peace. No Jesus, no peace, right? And I thought, well, is that it? I mean, is that the goal? So that we have peace, that we be happy? Is that what it's all about? That we get saved? Well, not according to this. This is a much bigger issue that's going down here. That we are to become holy. The holy dwelling place of the holy God. In this life and forever. It's a lot bigger, a lot more important. And it is good for us to be reminded of this, for our calling is so much greater. We are often tempted, especially to think of holiness as impossible. There's a whole theology today that's been developed in other churches that says, no, 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 you can't be holy. Only God is holy. You're just to get saved. And that's not the point because salvation is to become by grace what God is by nature, to partake of the divine nature. Jesus said, be ye holy, for I am holy. He doesn't mean that we just make it up, that we just do it ourselves, but that we become partakers, that we abide in him, and that we allow his holiness to, be, to grow in us. But sometimes, even we, knowing all this correct, Theology are convinced that holiness is impossible, you know, and we think that if that's, that's it, then, you know, uh, it's too tough for us. But do we forget that it is for this very reason that God dwells in us, to make us holy? What is my goal in life? To be happy? To be, to know a day, perhaps, without pain and struggle? to be rich, to be joyful. My chief goal, if indeed I am in Christ, is to become holy as Christ himself is holy. Everything else is added to that when we become by grace what God is by nature. I may often be distracted from this goal of holiness, the pursuit of holiness, the pursuit of Christ. It is not that we pursue holiness as an abstract, but we pursue Jesus Christ. 
And as John said, we know not, brethren, what we shall become, but we know we shall be like him. And this is what we pursue. We, be, we pursue Christ that we might be like him. And as he is holy, we become holy. And I often neglect this calling, as you often, I'm sure, neglect. We may be distracted from, from this by wrong thinking, by thinking perhaps, I don't know, dwelling on everything that we do wrong or everything that we find is wrong in us or our lack of devotion or our lack of zeal or interest. We think, how is this ever going to happen? Well, you know, we are urged <laughs> to not neglect this calling, to not think it impossible, to pick ourselves up and to continue on, to seek God, to seek Jesus Christ. What you seek, you shall find. I emerge again and again by my holy faith, by the holy scriptures, by the examples of the saints, and by the prompting of the Holy Spirit within me to return to the work of cleansing myself of every defilement of body and spirit, as St. Paul said, make holiness perfect in the fear of God. And that sounds pretty hard. But our gospel lesson reveals one very practical way for us to engage in this work on a daily basis. Again, I say we're not seeking holiness in the abstract. If I say to you, as God says to you, be holy, you're like, okay, fine. Let's see, Tuesday, you know, uh, grocery store, pick up laundry, be holy. You know, it's like, how do we do that? Well, so the gospel teaches us how to do that. Jesus said to us today, as you wish that men would do to you, do so to them. Now that seems simple, and, but what in the world does that have to do with holiness? Well, very simply, this golden rule teaches us to live like Christ, to live like Jesus Christ. Ordinarily, people are about the business of doing only for themselves. <coughs> While the New Testament beseeches us to live in humility and meekness in imitation of God, regarding all others as more important than ourselves, the way we actually live shows that we regard ourselves as more important than others, including all of our thoughts, all of our opinions, even all of our feelings are more important than anybody else. And by we, when I say we, I mean, of course, humanity, all of us, all of us. If this were not true, the whole world might not be filled with conflict and competition and neglect and abuse. We wouldn't find others so hard to get along with, and Jesus wouldn't have to come and tell us how to live. But we don't know how to live. We live for ourselves. But he shows us by example. His teaching is not just by word, but by what he lives out. And the world doesn't live as it should, as Jesus did, because it lacks one thing that Jesus had, humility. He was humble. When he came, he didn't come to become rich or famous. He came to serve. He came to be meek and humble. Human pride enslaves the world. In this, the world reveals that it does not know Jesus Christ. And we, if we know Jesus Christ, are to live differently. Not as the world lives. Not against one another, but for one another. And not just for one another, but for all. For if you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love your enemies. Do good. Lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind 
to the ungrateful and the selfish. Be merciful, even as your Father is merciful. This is what our Lord teaches. This is how he lived. This is how we are to live. In humility and in meekness. And in this, find holiness in our lives. This is how we come out from the world and live differently. Because I assure you, the world does not live this way. If we live this way, we will indeed be that peculiar people. And not for all the reasons we normally are peculiar, but because we become holy. We embrace our sanctification. We pursue holiness in Christ by puring, purifying ourselves in love, in kindness, in mercy, in generosity, in humility. We live no longer for ourselves, but for others, as God wills. For this is how Jesus lived, not for himself, but always for others. And so let there be no quarrelings, <laughs> no hurt feelings, no pettiness, no competition among us, which all stem from pride. Rather, let us aim always to be like Christ, laying down our lives for one another in imitation of him, to the glory of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy great wisdom. That guarded always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. desires and pleasures of the flesh is worthy to approach or draw nigh or to serve thee, O King of glory. For to serve thee is a great and terrible thing, even to the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, through thy unspeakable and boundless love for mankind, thou didst become man, yet without change or alteration, and as Lord of all, is take the name of our high priest, and deliver unto us a ministry of this liturgic and a bloody sacrifice. For thou alone, O Lord, our God, rulest over those in heaven and on earth, who art born on the throne of the cherubim, who are Lord of the seraphim and King of Israel, who Lord art holy and rest in thy holy place. Wherefore I implore thee, who Lord art good and art ready to listen, look down upon me, a sinner, and thine profitable servant, and cleanse my soul and my heart from an evil conscience, and by the power of thy Holy Spirit, and enable me, whom endued with the grace of the priesthood, to stand before this thy holy table, and to perform the sacred mystery of thy holy and immaculate body and precious blood. For I draw near unto thee, and bowing my neck, I pray thee, turn not thy face from me, neither cast me out from among thy children. But vouchsafe that these gifts may be offered unto thee, and find me thy sinful and unworthy servant. For thou thyself art he that offers and is offered, that accepts and is distributed, O Christ our God. And unto thee we ascribe glory, together with thy Father, who is an everlasting, and thine all holy good and life giving spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. We here mystically represent the cherubim and sing for the life giving Trinity in the thrice holy name. Let us now lay aside all earthly care. That we may receive the gift of all who comes invisibly upon the angelic host. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We here mystically represent the cherubim and sing for the life giving Trinity in the thrice holy name. Let us now lay aside all earthly care.
lift up their hands in holy places and bless the Lord. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ, the Lord God remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For Metropolitan Paul and Archbishop John, for their quick release from captivity and safe return, the Lord God, remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and our armed forces everywhere, the Lord God, remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. For the Orthodox servants of God, especially for the Archpriest Wayne, Wanda, Teresa, Michelle, Celeste, Sam, Riley, Todd, Bruce, Evangeline, Armin, Elizabeth, James, Stephen, David, John, Spencer, and Heather, for the victims of the wildfires, for Gamaliel, Shada, for the, our pilgrims to St. Anthony's, for Emily, Ange, and Katie, that they have mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of their sins. The Lord God, remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. For the Orthodox servants of God departed this life, the Lord God, remember them in his kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Taken down the most pure body from the cross, wrapped it in fine linen and spices, and laid it in a new tomb. In the grave with your body, but in hell, with your soul is gone. complete our prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. For 
the precious gifts now offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, reverence and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and need. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Bless our Lord. Lord, angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls, and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life peace and repentance for a Christian end to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and our whole life unto Christ our God. Through the compassions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages. Of Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Let us love one another that with one accord we may confess. Christ is in our midst. The doors, the doors, in wisdom let us attend.
Let us stand aright, let us stand with fear, let us attend, that we may offer the holy oblation in peace. Oh, mercy of peace of sacrifice of grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with thy spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is It is meet and right to him thee, to bless thee, to praise thee, to give thanks unto thee, and to worship thee in every place of thy dominion. For thou art God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing and eternally the same. Thou and thy only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, thou it was who didst bring us from non-existence into being. And when we had fallen away, didst raise us up again. And didst not cease to do all things until thou hast brought us back to heaven and hast endowed us with thy kingdom which is to come. For all these things we give thanks unto thee and to thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, for all things of which we know and of which we know not, and for all the benefits bestowed upon us, both manifest and unseen. And we give thanks unto thee also for this ministry which thou dost vouchsafe to receive at our hands even though there stand beside thee thousands of archangels and ten thousands of angels, the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring aloft, borne on their pinions, singing the triumphal hymn, shouting, proclaiming, and saying, Holy With these blessed powers, we also master and love us mankind, for our love and say, Holy art thou, O Holy, thou and thine only begotten Son and thy Holy Spirit, Holy art thou, O holy and magnificent, is thy glory. Who is so loved thy world as to give thy only begotten Son, that all who believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And when he had come and had fulfilled all the dispensation for us, in the night in which he was betrayed, or rather, gave himself up for the life of the world, took bread in his holy and pure and blameless hands, and when he had given thanks, and blessed it, and hallowed it, and broken it, he gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Oh. And after likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink ye all of this, this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Having in remembrance, therefore, this saving commandment, in all those things which have come to pass for us, the cross, the grave, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the session at the right hand, and the second and glorious advent, thine own of thine own we offer unto thee in behalf of all and for all. reasonable and unbloody service and beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee 
send down thy Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts here spread forth and make this bread the precious body of thy Christ and that which is in this cup the precious blood of thy Christ changing them by thy Holy Spirit that to those who shall partake thereof, they may be unto cleansing of soul, unto the remission of sins, unto the communion of thy Holy Spirit, unto the fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, unto boldness toward thee, and not unto judgment or unto condemnation. And again, we offer unto thee this reasonable service for all those who in faith have gone before us to their rest, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and every righteous spirit made perfect in faith, especially our holy, holy immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. And for the holy prophet, for an ambassador, God, for the holy glorious and honorable Among the first be mindful, O Lord, of our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, and rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Be mindful, O Lord, of the city in which we dwell, every city and countryside, and those who in faith dwell therein. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who travel by sea, by land, by air, the sick, the suffering, captives, and their salvation. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who bear fruit and do good works in thy holy churches, and who remember the poor, and upon us all send forth thy mercies. And grant us with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise an all honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages, of Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. And Calling to remembrance all the saints. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our God, who loveth mankind, receiving them upon his holy, heavenly, and ideal altar for an odor of spiritual fragrance, will send down upon us and return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Vouchsafe, O Lord, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee, the heavenly God, as Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name.
thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. We give thanks unto thee, O King Invisible, who by thy measureless power has made all things, and in the multitude of thy mercy has brought all things from nothing into being. Do thou thyself, O Master, look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee, for they have not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but unto thee, the fearful God. Therefore, O Master, do thou thyself distribute these gifts here spread forth, unto all of us for good, according to the individual need of each. Voyage with those who sail by sea and air, journey with those who travel by land, heal the sick, thou who art the physician of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love toward man of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages, of Amen. Look down, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from thy holy dwelling place and from the throne of the glory of thy kingdom, and come to sanctify us. O thou who sitteth on high with the Father and art here invisibly present with us, and vouchsafe by thy mighty hand to impart unto us thine immaculate body and precious blood, and through us unto all the people. God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Holy things are for the holy. Broken and distributed. This is the Lamb of God who is ever broken yet never disunited, ever evil yet never consumed, but sanctifying those who partake thereof. The fullness of the cup of the faith of the Holy Spirit. is the fervor of thy saints always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. The warmth of faith, full of the Holy Spirit. Thank you. 
the sun and moon, praise Christ, him all you stars and light. Praise him highest heavens and waters above the heavens. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Creatures in ocean depths, fire and hail, snow and ice, stormy wind fulfilling his command. trees and all cedars, creeping beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl.
Oh God, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Now exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory above all the earth. Amen. Blessed it is our God. Always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Attend, having partaken of the divine, holy, immaculate, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. We give thanks unto thee, O Lord, who lovest mankind, benefactor of our souls and bodies, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear, guard our life, make firm our steps. Through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctify those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house. Glorify them and recompense by thy divine power, and forsake us not who hope on thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to all civil authorities, to our armed forces, and to all thy people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. And unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Pray to the Lord. 
blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his grace and love towards man, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner and Baptist John, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of our Father among the saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we have now celebrated, of the holy, glorious, and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Barnabas, the patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of the hieromartyr Hierotheos, Bishop of Athens, the hieromartyr Peter of Capitolia in Syria, the martyrs Domnina and her daughters of Syria, Gurios, first Archbishop of Kazan in Barsanopolis, and the Bishop of Tver, and martyr Stephen Stiljovic and Elizabeth of Serbia, whose memory we celebrate today, and of all the saints. Have mercy on us and save us, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. 